Okay. We're gonna continue on. Uh, I think I can handle this. I know Let you go. can. And we're gonna make sure of it. We continue with more DBZ Kakarot. That's that two words. And how come you miss? It feels great to win. Yeah, it does feel great to win. Not to mention earning rewards and the like. What's going on? This weird huge energy is getting even bigger. Uh, I don't think it's my dad's power that's gone up, is it? It feels different. It's gotta be that weird creep's power. My dad's in trouble. As if we already knew that. I will take you down. Ah, Cybermen. How's that indeed? Very nice. If we don't do something, my dad's gonna die! Yeah, we better hurry, Gohan! I hear you. But before we do that, let's see if we can get ourselves, well, boosted up at least. Because we still have to unlock new abilities for Gohan and Kron. Ah, uh, yeah, the Meteor Sledge. The prerequisite super attack hasn't been unlocked yet? Oh yeah, body impact level 3. And then you unlock Meteor Sledge level 3. Nice. Nice, we also unlock Heavy Blow level 1. Yeah, that's how big the skill tree is for Gohan. And now we gotta do the same for Krillin. Well, there isn't that much. Got Solar Flare. And I thought it would unlock it. Oh, wait. You haven't unlocked the Destructo Disc yet? Yeah, it has Destructo Disc unlocked. Along with Solar Flare. That means you gotta unlock everything. Goku's power is getting weaker by the minute. Hang on, Dad. Hurry. We're almost there. I think I can handle this. Then let's drop down and get to the fight. K Krillin, wh what's that? Get out, Gohan! Don't let him see us. Hey. Yeah, yeah, Jirobi. Did you forget what that furry freak is? He's a Saiyan, a Saiyan. We know, but if we can cut his tail off, he'll revert back to normal. Gohan, Yajirobi, you guys get in front and distract him. I'll wait for an opening, and then I'll slice his tail off. Uh, okay. What? Distract him? Are you out of your mind? Look, man, even if you cut him down to size, he's still gonna knock you guys silly. Significant trash! You're all dead! Do you hear me? Vegeta is not taking this lightly. He just isn't, period. Come on! 
That doesn't want to help you out one bit. Nice, we did pretty good. And leveled up a lot. Damn you, you little runt! You're going to wish you'd never been born! I'm gonna defeat you! Krillin, come here. I need your help. Goku, are you alright? Now's our only chance. I'm gonna... I'm gonna give you... All the energy... I gathered... From the Earth. What? Krillin, grab my hand. Like this? Yeah, you got it. And now, turn your palm up and concentrate the energy into a ball. Just trust me. Whoa! There it is. So this is the... That's a spirit bomb. You... You did it! Krillin. You gotta hit him with that. You have to! Okay. I'll do what I can. Leave it to me. <laughs> Come on! I, I can't hit him if he keeps moving all over the place like that! You don't use your eyes when throwing the spirit bomb! Seek out his evil energy with your mind and release the attack! Who's there? I am King Kai, the one who taught Goku the spirit bomb technique. Remember, that ball contains the hope of every person on the planet. Okay, seek out his evil energy. I can feel it. Man, I can feel his evil energy! We did it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we did it! <laughs> You've really done it this time. I might actually die! How dare you! Your history!
Well, that really wasn't much, but it also serves to end the Saiyan Saga. How can I, the great Vegeta, be reduced to this? Where do you think you're going? <laughs> this ends now! Don't, Krillin! <laughs> Goku! I'm sorry, but just... Just let him go! Uh, wait, are you serious? If we let him go, he's just gonna regain his strength and come back and kill everyone! I... I know. Uh, th this guy killed our friends! He came here to massacre everyone on the planet! He's not just gonna pull a piccolo and just change sides. We have to stop him. I know. Come on. But, but please... please. I know what I'm asking is selfish, crazy even. But do me this favor. Let him live so I can fight him again someday. <laughs> okay, fine. I guess if anybody's got the right to ask for that, it's you. I mean, if it weren't for you, this whole planet would be toast. But if we're gonna do this, then you gotta blow this guy away with everything you got when he comes back. You got it. You're going to regret this. You, you won't have another miracle to save you next time. <laughs> Enjoy this time, because it's all you have left. <laughs> there they are! Hey, over here! Oh. Uh, Goku, are you all right? Uh, uh, Bulma, Yamcha, the others, they're all gone. We're, we're the only ones left. Piccolo's gone too. Uh, that means Kami and the Dragon Balls, they're all gone. So... so you mean... Yamcha can't ever be... <laughs> Bulma, don't cry. Actually... There might be a way for us to bring everyone who was killed back after all! What? Those Saiyans saw Piccolo and said something about him being a Namekian. They said the Namekian home planet, planet Namek, should even have more powerful Dragon Balls. Then, then that means if we head over to that Namek place or whatever, we... We might be able to get our hands on some Dragon Balls. me, Goku! You know, in the fight with Vegeta, we lost a lot of our friends. And with Piccolo gone, we can't use the Dragon Balls to bring anybody back! Wait a second! There are Dragon Balls on Planet Namek? Kami's homeworld? How are the guys gonna get there? Stay tuned for the next episode of Dragon Ball Z! The legendary Super Saiyan versus the evil Emperor Frieza! Don't miss it!
We earned the silver trophy, worse for wear. After a harrowing battle, Goku and his allies managed to defeat Vegeta. The remaining defenders of Earth mourn the high cost of victory, but Krillin finds a ray of hope in a conversation he overheard between the Saiyans. Basically, it's all setting things up nicely for the next arc, which, according to Dragon Ball Z lore, is the Namek arc. Yeah, the Namek saga. And it was split into, like, multiple sub-sagas. You have the Namek saga, the Ginyu Force saga, and then eventually the Frieza saga. And so at a great cost, Goku and the others were able to fend off the Saiyan threat. Goku, having sustained major injuries, remained in intensive care. Gohan, on the other hand, made a full recovery in only a few days. A healthy body needs a healthy amount of good food. You're right. Huh? You, you got me there. Mm. Got it. The person with the recipe can be found in Kaelin oh, Village. Guess I'll get started. Do what you can. Full course meals are special dishes that offer the best meal effects. In order to prepare, you need both ingredients and recipes. Full course meals take more effort to cook, but they provide more stat boost and meal effects. Only Chi Chi can cook them, but they make a world of difference when it comes to strength. So make sure to get her to make some whenever you can. Intermissions are periods of free time between sagas and the main story. You can use the time to collect items, train, or complete mini slash sub stories. They're also perfect opportunities to make preparations for whatever is next. Yeah, we need to get the recipe from the cookie cook in Kalen Village. Oh my. Uh, who would want to fight me now, huh? Tell me. Um, you look really strong. I'm gonna take you down. Yep, level 14. Your attack robots don't mean much. I actually won. That was simple enough. Let's also check if there are any submissions. Sadly, there aren't. Wait a minute. Oolong, what are you doing here? I see. Can't go to the world map yet. Looks like we're now heading to the city. Yep, now we arrive in the wow. big city. This town is huge. Fine, looks like we'll have to head to Kelvin Village for now.
he charged. I, I think I can handle this. I'm gonna take Fine, let's do it. How's that? How's that? That was easy enough. Get the recipe from the cook in Kelvin Village. There's Kalen Village. There it is. At least we're getting more ingredients. All right, made it. That's because her mother is a fighter. His mother is a fighter. <laughs> yep, it runs in the family. But Chi Chi's the opposite. Um. Um. No problem. Nice, we got the meat course recipe. And a few other items too. What? Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. <sighs> Pretty weird, yes, but it's enough to get it done. Now we gotta race all the way back. Fine, you wanna fight? Let's go. That was just bad. We're already 30 minutes in and we're still gone. Nuts, I missed it. Hey! 
Watching you gather all this food. I get the trophy, the voice in my head. And you hear the voice with my dual shock. Hey, I don't mind it. Yeah, because you actually also need to get 50. I think I can handle this. Fine, let's go. Two Cybermen. That was pathetic. Yeah, it was pathetic. Yeah, let's head back home. Being away from home, training for so long was tough. I really miss this place. And this is the moment where they continue to pursue Yamcha and Puar pursued Goku, Bulma, and Ola. On their way to the Ox King, the pair encounter a young girl being attacked by a dinosaur. Though she appears frightened, she was able to slice the dino in two with a blade. She then fires a beam, reducing the dino to dust, proving that Chi Chi is not one to be trifled with. Even when she was younger, she was still deadly. That's a fact. <laughs> Meat course complete. There's nothing like a home cooked meal. Thank you, Chi Chi. This boosted your HP, your key, and your melee attack, along with meal effects that boost HP, key, and experience. <laughs> that was delicious. You know, now that you're doing better, Gohan, you should really go see Master Roshi. I'm sure he's been worried sick about you. Right. I'll go pay him a visit then. You've had it rough for a long time now, so feel free to take it easy. Will do. Thanks, Mom. Once you're finished, you come straight back here, you hear me? You've got studying to do, young man. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Chi Chi should understand that, know I'm all right. that a mind and a body is a terrible thing to waste. You need both. Huh? Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Later. A new menu has been added to the training grounds, meaning that in order to get stronger. No. Now what? No. Okay, what do you want now? Wait, I know this voice. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. This is King Kai, right? That's right. Listen up, Doku's kid. I sense a great evil near you. Be on your guard. Uh, okay, I'll be careful. King Kai was right. I'm sensing some evil energy nearby. From my controller. Yes, you hear it from my controller. Hear it away, you felt the evil key, and it was right here. There it is. Fine, let's get a little warm up in before the fight starts. Really? Six level six Cybermen? You're not even that tough. Be gone. And I need the added experience anyway. This must be it.
Yeah, I see even in the intermissions you still have much to do. Better be careful. Now I'm done playing around with this. That was painful. Nah, you're stunned. Yeah, good riddance. Hey! Now what? Go on, go. Uh, okay. So there's even more threats around here. Super villainous enemies can now be encountered. Each area houses multiples, and defeating all of them will cause even more powerful to show up. Take them on if you're feeling brave. Now we can choose to enter Kami House on the world map. But what fun would that be? I feel bad for Poir. House? I wonder if anyone's here. I don't know if anyone would be there. I think I can handle this. Now I gotta keep moving. I'd love to go for a dip in it. Well, we can always explore the city. Now we arrive in the big city itself. Let's see if there are any submissions I should know about. Well, nothing in particular in Orange City. Our next stop is to like, oh, we unlocked the Southeast Islands area, along with West area and West Forest area, along with Kami's Lookout. We need to get to West City. That's our first stop because there are subquests we gotta do. Yep, there's plenty for us to do here in the intermission. Let's just say I'm gonna devote this in the next episode to it because soon we will be heading into the Namek Saga. And the Namek Saga is where things re it, it's when the series really does get good. Well, we made it to West City. Nice, we also unlocked the rewards. House, right? Yeah, it has to be. There's so much in this world map that it's gonna take me a long time. Wait a minute. It's... Wait. What's this? Emperor Pilaf? Yes, I know my Dragon Ball knowledge, so... What are they doing here? Um... <laughs> Alright, I wouldn't mind saying no. The Pilaf Gang's plan. Get up. 
Oh no! They're not taken seriously as villains, but thing is about these guys, yeah, they would end up reappearing in Dragon Ball Super during the Battle of the Gods event when they use the Dragon Balls to get younger. They end up turning into kids, which I don't find that relevant, but it did lead to some humorous moments. They really, in the original Dragon Ball, yeah, they were mostly the big bad for the first part of the, like the first part of the series. I need to stock up on Vita Drinks. Oh, really? You missed it even that, too. Thank you so much. What now? <laughs> Copy that, huh? No. Yes. <laughs> oh, no. You never heard of Emperor Pilaf because you weren't even born when it happened. They were not that taken that seriously as villains. Even in Dragon Ball GT, all they did was just be an impetus for pretty much turning Goku into a kid. Well, we at least got the demo for him. And we also... Oh, wait, we don't unlock anything. Oh, wait, we do unlock their medals. Pilaf, Shu, and Mai. Yeah, you should. The good news is that, well, we earned the trophy, Silver, Thirsty for Knowledge. Let's check out the community boards. This is on Goku's side. This is on my side. Well, we gotta unlock as many of these as possible. We're off to find the Dragon Balls! Yes, sir! Emperor Pilaf! I just hope you know who doesn't show up! They mean you know who being Goku. And you know what? Let's move them here. Sure, it'll de level up, but who cares? Having them together in one set would actually do help down the line. There. Right, we're off to find. I just hope you know. We already know you know who doesn't show up, and that's actually Goku, and that's Goku. Because, remember, in Dragon Ball, I believe it was in, Dr in the original Dragon Ball, he was a big pain in the butt to these guys. Well, let's see if we can pay a visit to Caplicorp. Perhaps Bulma could be of help to us. We're supposed to head to Kami's lookout, but we can take the opportunity to explore and see what's up. Visiting big cities like this is really exciting. And you'll also notice there's like a Dragon Balls on the left, right? Yep, Dra we can also find the Dragon Balls. <laughs> That's what I want to know. All right, we took care of the subquest here. We head to Kami House in the Southeast Islands. There's not that much in terms of quest. I mean, what's the worst that could happen if I end up going down to these guys? Hmm, I don't know. There's one such threat, but we gotta see how strong they are. But before we do, let's save our game. Cause I'm not gonna go through a lot of, I'm not gonna like lose a lot of progress for this. Um, you look really 
really strong. I'm gonna take you down. Level 31. Yeah, it doesn't damage that much. Get away, so I'm much stronger. Oh yeah, you can't even leave a fight either. <laughs> Only key energy attacks can damage him. Doing it. Yeah, they got a big amount. Great. Wow. I had no idea they could do that. Yep. Yes, you now learn. Thank God I saved beforehand. Well, after dealing with that, I am not dealing with that any further. There's like multiples, and we can't even tell which ones are. I think I can handle this. Nah, you really can't, to be honest. Let's head back to the Kami house. All right, let's check. Let's check out what Master what Oshi's happened? been up to. Since I first came here. Not much has happened, unfortunately. It's also the training grounds. We're at level 15, so we can get our hands on the crushing strike. But there's also the Super Masenko. Nuts! Why did I get whacked by that? Look, if you're gonna try hard enough, just don't. You gotta take on Go Go. That was painful. Is that it? That's on him. Getting blasted underwater by a special beam cannon? That's just wrong. Yeah. 
Gotta learn to get recovered from stun a lot faster. Get wrecked! And this allows us to earn the crushing strike. But we need a bit more so we can learn Masenko level 3. Amazing, amazing how this world connects. It's just so amazing. And now let's see if we can level up Gohan. Yep. Oh yeah, the Masenko. We learned Masenko level 3. And we need to unlock that to complete Super Masenko. Nice, we also get Super Recovery level 1. That's a lot. There it is, Crushing Strike. Now I wonder if we have what it takes to unlock the Super Masenko. Hi, Master Roshi. Well, if it isn't little Gohan, you're looking fit as a fiddle. Yeah. Hey, where is everybody? Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, they're out looking for someone. Someone? Yes, Launch. She's the young woman that used to live here. No one's heard from her in quite some time now. She left here and went after Tien, but I was starting to worry she might have gotten herself mixed up in the fight against the Saiyans. So I asked Krillin and the others to go out looking for her in the area where the fight took place. But, well... Did something happen? Possibly. I just saw a young woman that looks a lot like Launch on a news report from West City. I'm waiting for Krillin and the others to get back so I can tell them to head there next. Oh, well, I can go there if you like. Really? <laughs> That'd be great! You can't miss her. She's got full-bodied curly blue hair. A real beauty. Her outfit leaves little to the imagination. I can still picture her tank top, shorts, her curves. <laughs> Just thinking about her is getting me all riled up. Ahem, what else? Oh, yes, her personality. She's a very calm, sweet person. Calm and sweet. Got it. Okay, I'm off to find her. So it looks like our mission now is that we must head towards West City. Fine by me. I think I can handle this. Hey! Oh, jokes aside, Master King Kai, we get you. How many more of these guys do I gotta deal with? I think I and yet you get to hear that over and over and over again. Fine, let's take him down. Level 13. That's for getting in my way. How's that? Yep, there's this is an entire archipelago of islands. Let's head to there if we can, but I also gotta make sure I stock up. I think I 
can handle this. These guys should know better than the buzz off. This is it. All right, and I'll take my chances. Recommend a level level 20. Hmm. What's the... What's the worst that can happen? I'll take it. Oh, that's gonna hurt. That hits a that hits hard, and I mean a lot. Really hits with a crit. I no no I want to wait till I'm stronger man that got me good yeah so now our next stop is to head to West City let's head there then now we got a fine launch I got it. Now we gotta find her. There she is. Thankfully, she's not far. There she is. Quit jerking me around. P please don't do this. <laughs> hmm, let's see. Blue hair, same outfit that Master Roshi described. That's probably lunch. 
looks like she's arguing with some people. That ain't launch, kid. You punks are messing with the wrong girl here. I said fork it over, so fork it over! You hear me? W well, it's just... <laughs> What's going on? Guess I'm just gonna have to pump you rats full of lead then. Uh-oh! Launch is in trouble! Stop! Huh? We now gotta fight robots. That's your idea of how you do things? They're level 18 portable attack bots. Try. Sorry, but you're not going to be doing any of that today. Good. That's a relief. Are you all right? Oh, okay. Who the hell are you? You're pretty tough for a pint sized punk. You kind of sort of remind me of Goku. Huh? Wait, how do you know my dad? Huh? You're Goku's kid? What? What the hell are you doing here? These bozos stole my map, and I'm trying to get it back. What? D did you really? Um, uh, well... All right, that's it. Keep this dumb act up and BAM! You're gonna get it! You're not lunch? What? Jeez, I'm lunch. What? But I was told she has blue hair. It's complicated, kid. Now shut the hell up and give me the stupid map. Y yeah? Um, d do you think you can find it in your heart to forgive me? Screw you! Get out of here before I send you packing myself! <laughs> Bunch of no-good chumps. Whatever! At least I got my map back! <laughs> Sorry for butting in like that! Whatever. I'm over it. As long as I got this map, I could finally figure out where he lives. He? He keeps jumping all over the place for his training. I've been chasing nothing but rumors till now. Uh, oh, I see. Now this time, I'm gonna make sure he falls in love with me. Hold on tight, buddy. I'm coming for you. Well, there she goes. I guess I better head back and let Master Roshi know what happened. Good idea. Let's head back. That was a lot to take in. Alright, let's report to Master Roshi and we'll be done here. This is already a doozy and a half. Um... I found Launch, but she ran off somewhere. Hmm? What are you talking about? Launch came back not too long ago. Huh? Wait, but... Oh, did someone call for me? What? Oh, you must be the boy Master Roshi's been talking about. You're Goku's son, right? It's a pleasure to meet you. My name's Launch. 
Your lot? But the woman I met before had blonde hair. Oh, uh, that's the other me. People tell me my personality changes whenever I sneeze. And my hair... <gasps> Your personality changes? Hard to believe, right? I think it might be some sort of condition I have. That might actually be the best way to describe it. Ah, I remember. That's what I forgot to tell you earlier. Sorry about that. <laughs> I really hope the other me didn't cause you too much trouble. She can be a bit harsh sometimes. <laughs> uh, no. I'm just surprised to see you here, since she said something about going to look for someone. Right. When I came to, I was near West City and I had no clue what was going on. And so I decided to come here. Uh, I see. Oh, I know. Why don't I cook something nice as a thank you for dealing with the other me? It's the least I could do. I've been wanting to try out a few recipes for a while now. Yes, I think that's a great idea. We can all eat together. Uh, okay. We obtain Launch's medal, her soul emblem. She'll do well fitting in the food department. Goku enjoyed, go on and enjoy Launch's delicious meal. Now Krillin can be added to our party. During main story chapters, your party will be locked, but you can freely change members during intermissions. You can choose which characters to bring on your adventures by selecting them from the party menu. Please note, however, that you will not have direct control over support characters. Now we can edit our party. We get it. Loud and clear. Hey, go on. You look like you're doing a lot better. That was pretty impressive, finding launch like that. Seriously. <laughs> oh, and make sure to let Bulma know you're doing okay as well. She's been worried too. Yeah, we should. But yeah, we're gonna end this part here. We will continue in the next one. That is it for this part of Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. The intermission will continue, and once that's done, we will be moving on to, I believe, the next part of this journey, the Namek Saga. If you enjoyed this, be sure to hit the like button. It means a lot to me. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and click the bell. Helps out big time. Truly, it does. So yeah, this is Mega Man NG signing off. Peace out.